you want me to back in just in case because like obviously it's to the point where something could potentially pop off or you need people to be able to pull off that quick second of all you talking about you gonna take my phone and my car keys and yeah but i'm thinking like if some did pop off how are you gonna be able to leave if they got your key why they'd be like hold up here that sound like what's, a your, what's your name i know a disaster waiting right. to happen What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our junior reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. Okay, ladies, if you want to spice up your adult products, then please try out the Rose Vibrator. We actually have that on our website, freaksaudiobooks.com. Um, this little vibrator is about this big. Um, very kind of discreet, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty discreet. Um, it has 10 different suction modes, a really good toy. So if you want to check it out, just visit our website. The link will be pinned in the description. Babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. Today we're reacting to Taco. Stay woke. I'm going to tell you now, that is the best picture I could find. Mainly because, you know, you go on her Instagram and she remove her pictures or she got the collages. I was like, damn. So I had to go to Google. And then this, I think I went to Google. I don't know, but this is the one I found. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, y'all, let's get into it. Before we get a reaction, do us a favor. Hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's. All right, man. So, goddamn, I got this story time, right? And like, <laughs> nah, hold on. Nah, hold on, my fault, my fault. Y'all probably like, well, damn, bitch. Hello. Hello before I get into story time, <laughs> goddamn. Oh, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy second. I got a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? It's a red cardinal. And then, ugh, fuck. Ugh, shit. There we go. Bitch, got to do the goddamn robo Dobie dot. Ugh, <laughs> Look, so I got a red cardinal. And then it's a 341. That's what time I was born. And I got a red cardinal because, like, I see them so much, especially now since, like, my grandparents passed away. I see red cardinals nonstop. And one of my friends on my podcast, she was like, Taco, I think red cardinals are black people. And I love that so much. And it, it just, like, lit something in my tummy. So that shout out to my good. friend who said I that. like the mushrooms. You know who you are. But, baby, I agree. Like, I, it's something so spiritual about, like, red cardinals. Cardinals. If you can't see it, then bitch, you just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Let no. me ask this. Am I the only one when um, I see a certain animal that just sticks out in my consciousness? I Google the spiritual meaning of that animal. Like, for example, it was one morning, it was like um, five something in the morning. I was up by myself in this room and I just so happened to look out the window and I saw this white wolf looking animal. I mean, we don't think we have like white wild wolves here in Alabama, but it looked like a white wolf. So I looked up the spiritual meaning of wolves. Like, do y'all do that? Comment below. <laughs> for you. It's for the people who get it. The people who get it, get it. Fuck you, tell me. Take my bracelets off so I can show y'all the whole tattoo. So yeah, at the bottom, I got some mushrooms. Cause y'all know a bitch be tripping mushrooms. That's why I'm always up here losing my goddamn mind. I did just wake up. So my face is a little puffy. So don't mind all that. Um, Y'all probably like, well, Taco, you got kind of chubby. I did, bitch. I been eating lovely. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even but notice. But regardless. <laughs> but hey, this is the time of the year where, like, mo most people gain their weight. Yeah. But I didn't even cold. notice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a front base sleeve, and eventually I am going to cover my whole arm. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck, bitch. It's not for you to like. It's for me to like. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just got to get like all the trolls and all the haters out the way before I get into the fucking story time. Because y'all know people always going to come on here with their two goddamn cents. And yes, I know it's a new year, and y'all probably like, well, Taco, like, I feel like you should stop explaining yourself. You should stop, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Feeling a certain type of way because people perceive you. No, baby, I really don't give a fuck. But, like, regardless, I'm still going to have something to say just because, like, I'm a big mouth ass bitch. And on top of that, like, bitch, New Year saying me because I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, you thought I wasn't going to get up here and talk shit. I am. So, yeah, y'all, that's what I've been up to. Um, Ooh, and to the people who are watching her for the first time, y'all, this is a fiery Sagittarius. I mean, I don't know her rising and stuff, but. These Sagittarius, baby. This cha this channel loves Sagittarius. New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope y'all was safe. I hope y'all enjoyed um, 
Thanksgiving and Christmas because I was gone. I was off this bitch. Y'all was pissing me off. Not y'all, but like, <laughs> let me be crystal clear. Cause like for some reason, y'all, every time I get up here and I be like this and this and that and that, it's always like 40 people who just be like, oh, you so ungrateful. Oh, bitch, nobody was talking to you. Alopecia, nobody was talking to you, bitch. Like be fucking for real. And like not even trying to be funny and like make, make a joke out of people with alopecia, but like it always seemed like it's like the bitches with no fucking See, hair. See, that's the thing that uh, sadness gotta do because y'all mouth is so like fiery. Y'all, when y'all like blast out, y'all burn a few other people. <laughs> <laughs> During that blast, you gotta be like, okay, well, not everybody with alopecia. I ain't trying to make fun of y'all. You know? <laughs> Air in the back. Nobody was talking to you, bro. You <laughs> feel like it really be blowing me. Like, when I sit here and I stress over and over again, like, I wanna do this now. So if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch. And it'd be like 40 of my own subscribers be in the comments, like, oh, you so ungrateful. You should just be happy, like, that we even still support you. Bitch, I wasn't talking to you, obviously. The fuck is wrong with you? I, I know I know y'all baby daddies be knocking y'all ass between a washer and dryer because y'all can't fucking comprehend. Oh, child. The fuck be going on around here? <laughs> like, the fuck be going on around here? Like, this shit be crazy, nigga. I'm going to make some shit cl crystal clear. Like, a bitch being off of here just because, like, I was getting overwhelmed because, like, I was getting fucking annoyed. I was getting overwhelmed because I was getting annoyed because it was so many people, like, literally hounding me. And this is something else that I want to stress. I don't think y'all understand, like, what it take to be a content creator. Of course, I'm not complaining about it because this is my full-time job. I love it. I enjoy it. I will never stop because I love being a free bitch in a sense. Because if you want to be honest, content creating is just like another nine to five. You know what I'm saying? So when you're a content creator and when you have a lot of people who watch you and you have eyes on you constantly, you get like this certain percentage of people who feel, I always say this, you have a certain percentage of people who feel entitled to what the fuck you need to be doing with your content. They feel entitled to what the fuck you need to be doing on your platforms. They feel entitled to have an explanation or a reason on why you did this or why you did that and why you haven't been on here and why you're not posting this. I don't want to see this. I want you to post this type of content. And it's literally... I'm not gonna hold y'all. It like after a while, it's it, it takes a fucking like it's it causes a wear on you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So like, toll on like, you. I agree. I was man, it was actually just having a conversation the other day, and I was telling her, you know, it's important that we do our morning routine, routine that we stay consistent in it because um, not only it's like. We attract a lot of people. People see us and they're automatically drawn to us. But then not only that, we have new people that are coming in. So I told Nick. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, I told Nick. I said it's very important that we do what we need to do so that we can stay grounded. Because it is. Sometimes like people put things in the comment and it's irking and like i tell nick just don't even say nothing to them it's like some days today i got time some days i'm gonna make you feel stupid some days i ain't finna say shit to your ass because i'm in the vortex bitch <laughs> yeah and uh being a content creator how she said it's a nine to five it's actually like fucking 24 7 type shit if you allow it to be but that's why we have to have cut off times like at 7 p.m every night i cut off every i disconnect from the world mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because it is very overwhelming very if you allow it to especially I, like y'all remember like i was in my little fashion girl era oh let me explain that too and then we can get into the story time so if if you can recall, like, the last little videos I was posting was, like, hella shoe reviews. I was in my fashion girl era. You know what I'm saying? I explained this in my painting video. I have another painting video up if y'all want to go watch it. I'm going to link it in a pinned comment. I was in my fashion girl era. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you who know, I was basically reviewing replica shoes and replica, like, clothing from, like, rep sites. And for anybody who don't fucking know, a rep is just a replica. It means it's, like... It's like the the knockoff version of the real version. You know what I'm saying? But like in these times and this generation now, reps are very that's like a very popular thing to get into. And on top of that, it make a lot of goddamn money. You know what I'm saying? So like one thing about me, I'm not finna turn down no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna turn down no money and I'm not finna turn down no free shit. Like be fuck for real. Do I look like a bitch that's gonna turn down some free shit? 
Exactly. So I was in my fashion girl era, right? So I was going up. I was dropping goddamn shoe review at the shoe review at the shoe review, and I was having fun. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's all that fucking matters is how shit made me feel. Fuck you, tell yeah. me. And the people who like support and they like it, they'll stick around. And I love y'all for that. But of course, you have like the fucking twenty five percent who was just literally hounding me. When I tell y'all, people was like DMing me nonstop. Niggas what? was hitting me up on Twitter, Instagram, bitch, MySpace, fuck you, tell me, <laughs> emails, bitch, people was finding like, my Yahoo, email, 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 like, LinkedIn. Email, 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 story time. Do y'all understand, like, y'all really be like running people into like the grave. Y'all be stressing people out when y'all do shit like that. And let me reiterate, for the bitches in the back, I'm not talking about all y'all. I'm talking specifically to the people who be hounding niggas. Y'all literally sit here and tell people what the fuck to do, what the fuck you want to see, how they should do it, when they should do it. And then when y'all, when these niggas not, when these niggas don't want to give y'all nothing no more, when these niggas getting up here fucking being rude and cursing people out and saying <laughs> what the fuck on their mind, oh, you ungrateful. Oh, you rude. You should be lucky that people support you. Bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> I literally just had a mental breakdown, bitch, because you how the niggas. Like, be fucking for real. Fashion girl era, it did not end. I do have a whole new YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I got a whole new YouTube. I'm going to tag that in the pinned comments. As well. so so. My new YouTube is called K's Closet because my name is Mark Kayla. So, K, you know what I'm saying? Closet. That's so. And then that's where I do, like, all my shoe reviews and my clothing reviews type shit. I do all that on that channel. Just not too long ago, I had, like, 200 subscribers. Now, I got over 300. So, it's growing, you know what I'm saying? You Hey, if y'all into fashion and stuff, definitely go check that out. I'm going to have to try to find her channel and yeah. maybe pin it or put it in uh, the description or something like that. Definitely go and check her out. Fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I love you, boy. Keep God in your life, fuck nigga. You know what I'm saying? I love you, boy. And keep God in your life, fuck Just nigga. Do it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really excited that it's growing and I'm really grateful and I love it and I love y'all for supporting me. The people who do support me, fuck you to me. And then, um, so yeah, I can tell y'all real quick what happens with the shoe reviews on my main channel. So let me tell y'all, if you didn't watch my painting video, I'm gonna explain it now. And if you haven't been on my podcast on an app called Station Head, you gotta download Station Head and then search Taco Tarantino. I'm gonna pin that as well. It's been happening. Like, I think they started taking my videos down like the end of October. Like the beginning, the beginning of November, like the end of October. Like YouTube was like, well, what do we have here? You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube got my ass up out of here. So, you know, basically like we're doing replica shit. It's like counterfeit shit. In oh. a sense. You know what I'm saying? But like, bitch, be fucking for real. Like, I was going to say, I remember somebody saying something in the comments about that a long time ago. I didn't even know that wearing replica was a thing because, you know, me coming up, um, that used to be like a really big no-go. Am I am I wrong? Like wearing, because I remember, okay, so y'all remember it was a oh, phase. Y'all yeah. Yeah, remember, remember it was up. a phase where it was a very short period. And please keep in mind, I'm not into fashion, so I barely even, even as a kid, I wasn't into it. But um fat form shoes do y'all remember those shoes mm -hmm. so i remember i wanted something so bad but again i had a single mom she couldn't really afford shit we happened to go i think to jacksonville florida to some like flea market or something and i saw i was like oh, fat form shoes and they were so cheap and i i was this close to buying them y'all until i realized that the p was a motherfucking q and when I tell you, my body almost starts shaking at the thought of the bullying that I would have, you know, yeah. had to endure, you yeah. know, wearing that <laughs> qu quack, quack, quack form type of shoe. So I didn't even know motherfuckers was doing how on that is. That's how you know times change. Because I used to get bullied sometimes because I used to wear like off brand type of shit coming up, which is probably why fashion stuff is not that big to me now. Y'all yeah. see I wear black t-shirts every day, so... All these channels on fucking YouTube that be reviewing all this fake knockoff shit, y'all gonna come after the fucking gay black girl. Of course. So one day, I'm doing my fucking shoe reviews. I'm going up, uh, 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 get money. <laughs> Fuck you, somebody. I'm going crazy, right? One of the replica companies, it was so funny. It was like serendipity, bitch. One of the replica companies actually reached out to me and was like, hey, Taco, I just want to let you know the way that you post your videos is not safe. Like, you be putting all our website information. You be putting all our Instagram, our at name. You be putting all this hashtag rep shoe review, hashtag replica Jordan 11. Uh, y'all know how I was dropping my videos if y'all, like, was witnessing. So I would, like, record... I would get like 40 shoes in one day, right? So I would record like 15 of those fucking shoe reviews and then post them all back to back to back to back to back. 
So the replica nigga was telling me <laughs> the replica nigga. The replica <laughs> the replica company was telling me like Bitch, YouTube gonna flag your shit. They gonna pick up on, like, the way... You know what I'm saying? Because, like, everything just works in some sort of, like, algorithm is what I'm guessing. But if y'all want me to be honest, and if y'all want me to be the little woke yogi bitch that I'm always being, I honestly feel like it's because I'm a black content creator and I'm gay. I don't give a fuck. And, and don't be one of them people in the comments, oh, black people always want to make something about race. Yes, bitch, because y'all made everything about race first. Fuck you talking about. So it's not gonna end. <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Yes, it could have been the algorithm. Yes, I also believe it was because I was posting just sporadically and crazy as hell, and I was tagging a bunch of forbidden shit. And on top of that, I also believe it's because I'm black and I'm gay, and I'm a girl. And on top of that, I still believe, like 2% of me still believe that somebody hating ass reported it because they wasn't having fun watching me be in my fashion girl era. So... Basically, <laughs> I'm in my feminine girl era, if y'all can't tell. You know what I'm saying? Not for real. So, basically, goddamn, man, I woke up, bruh, like, literally, like, after after I finished, like, talking with the goddamn replica nigga, I woke up, like, the following morning, nigga. YouTube was, like, flag for counterfeit. <laughs> flag for counterfeit. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know I had to double it. Flag for counterfeit. I said, uh hello like what the fuck bro i was like panicking nigga because like every time i got an email it was like when i tell y'all if y'all remember i probably had like 30 fucking shoe reviews on this channel on my main channel when i woke up and checked my email it was like 30 fucking emails flag for counterfeit activity flag for counterfeit activity <laughs> bitch you thought we wasn't gonna catch this one just because it's a fucking retro <laughs> Flag for kind of, I said, oh my God, <laughs> fuck that. I started deleting them. So on top of me deleting them and on top of YouTube deleting them, we was like in the fucking race for who can delete the fastest. You know what I'm saying? I was not playing. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm still a human. I'm still, I'm still like, you know what I'm saying? I still can feel my emotions and I can still feel all these different types of, you know what I'm saying? Like varieties of different fucking feelings. So I'm not going to hold y'all. It discouraged me a little bit because like I got so fucking yeah. mad because I'm sitting here like, Y'all got all these fucking white people on here doing the same shit that I'm doing. Y'all got all these fucking Hispanics and all these Asians and all these other people doing the exact same shit that I'm doing. How the fuck did y'all narrow it down to a little black gay bitch in fucking Atlanta and was like, yeah, get this bitch up out of here? Why, when I see hella other people doing the exact same shit, posting nonstop? How the fuck y'all come find a bitch with gold teeth on this motherfucker looking like a pirate? How the fuck y'all come find me? So I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you. My inner child was hurt. I did get discouraged a little bit. And I was like, fuck you too. Like, I'm gonna get off this bitch. But, like I explained in my painting video, the replica, the like the replica shoes and the replica clothes and like the videos, I didn't give a fuck about that. I didn't care. My, like, my panic was coming from the fact that is my main channel fin finna get deleted. That's where my fucking panic was kicking in. These niggas delete my main channel, bitch. I'm finna be on the streets. You know what I'm saying? She belongs to the streets in my future voice. Like, she belongs to the streets. I'm sitting here like, these niggas finna get my ass up out of here and I'm finna be goddamn gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then another thing too is um, when YouTube does that, they say they'll delete your main channel and any channels associated. So now I'm curious to know, like, the. First and foremost, I was curious of what the association looks like. Are they saying through AdSense? And if so, I'm curious to know, which of course Taco don't have to tell me this, like if the K's closet, if it's associated with the main channel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if not, like creating a separate AdSense for K's channel. So hopefully that splits the association. Yeah. Something to think about. All that shit happened, I just got goddamn. I started panicking a little bit. My tummy started hurting, bitch. I had the bubble guts. I said, yeah, yeah fuck Y'all can have the reps, nigga. Y'all can have them video. I don't give a fuck. Just don't flag no more shit on my channel. Yeah, basically, all of that counted as one fucking flag, one fucking strike, because it was the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was like numerous videos, but it was all under the same type of, like, flag warning, which was counterfeit goods or replica items. So yeah, y'all, that's what happened with my shoe reviews on this main channel, and that's why I have my new channel now. Hey! Hey! <laughs> y'all know one thing about me, I'm gonna have a story time for almost any situation. I don't give a fuck what the, like, what the topic is. You can name, like, the most random topic, and I guarantee you, I have a fucking story time for it. Because, like, bitch, I'm fucking 80 years old, I live in Atlanta, I'm black, I'm gay, you know what I'm saying? It's so many different, like, aspects around my life. And, like, every time I say that I have a story time for something, I always think about that one troll who was on here like 
you don't be doing nothing but making up story times. And I thought that was just so crazy because, like, bitch, just say your life is fucking miserable. Just say your life is boring and you don't do shit with your day. Just say you live in your mama basement and you don't do shit online all day but hate on fucking people who do go out and experience shit. Nobody was bringing no type of attention towards, like, the Balenciaga scandal. I don't know if y'all remember that scandal. Do y'all remember that scandal? Of course y'all have to remember that scandal because it just fucking literally happened. And I think it's so crazy that, like, people like me or, like, people who just pay attention to shit, like, the people who stay woke, you know what I'm saying? We been telling y'all shit like this. And it's like when we, when we, like, speak out about shit like this, y'all just be like, oh, it's just a conspiracy theory. You just crazy. And it's so funny to me because all these conspiracy theories that people like me be, like, talking about, they all be unfolding. And then when they unfold, y'all don't have shit else to say about it. And I think it's so crazy to me. <laughs> That's so true. with all that being said, I have a story time, not necessarily about the Balenciaga scandal, because y'all probably going to be like, bitch, I'm going to call 911. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily about the Balenciaga scandal, but it more so ties into, like, if if I say this all the time, I stress this all the time. If you did not know by now, I am a I am a very repetitive woman because like I have Sagittarius placements and because as well, just like I feel like niggas don't be hearing me. I really be up here preaching, niggas don't be hearing me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So like it's it's cool though, cause when a bitch gone for good, y'all gonna be like, What happened to that one bitch that used to get on YouTube looking like flapjack? That bitch used to be spitting. Yeah, nigga, I did. Y'all don't listen to a bitch, so don't even worry about it. This story time is basically about uh Something like pertaining to the Balenciaga scandal, just because like this, this like story time, it's not going to prove anything, but like this story time is just going to bring some sort of like insight into the fact that like if regular people like middle class citizens like me and like whoever watching, if, if, if people like on our, our level, I'm not even gonna say our level, that just sounds fucked up. If people like within, within our class, that sounds worse. Y'all give it the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> if people like everyday fucking civilians and citizens like us dabble in shit like this, then I can only imagine what like the people with money and power be doing. Mm -hmm. And I say this all the time on my station head, on my podcast. Yeah, right. And like I always tell y'all, on my podcast, I be a little bit more like just fucking ridiculous and just turned up just because like it's no stipulations and it's nothing like holding me back and I can't get flagged and I can't get demonetized. So if you want to ever hear my fucking mushroom thoughts, or even when I'm sober, I be still having the same fucking thoughts. If you ever want to hear me just fucking ramble and lose my goddamn mind, you know what I'm saying? Tap in with my podcast on an app called Station Head, and then you're going to search Taco Tarantino, and it's going to be in a pinned comment below. So first and foremost, if you are not familiar with the Balenciaga scandal, basically Balenciaga, like literally like the fucking clothing brand, them niggas that be making them big ass shoes. And it's so funny because like the replica companies, they sent me some Balenciagas. When all that shit started unfolding, I took them bitches right on up the street. I took them to one of them damn, um, if you live in, if you live in Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. It's called Ragorama. I took them fucking Balenciagas to Ragorama and I got me some fucking money out of them. I said, fuck no. Because one thing about me, I always say this. I've never been a bitch like, I don't give a fuck about no designer, bitch. Because I'm going to put that shit on. Niggas get shit on. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about the name brand, the label. I don't give a fuck about that. I shop at thrift stores, bitch. I don't give a fuck about name brand. So, like, when they send the Balenciagas, I was like, okay, cool. Dee -dee. They're different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they big as hell, them big ass boats. You know what I'm saying? Them shoes get very much goddamn. I know y'all blew up the kid. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, like, basically, with the entire Balenciaga scandal, basically, they did this photo shoot, and within the photo shoot, like, these little kids had, like, sex dolls all around. Yeah. Little kids. Like, literally, like, fucking children. Like, toddlers. Like, anybody under fucking 18, you're a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm a teenager. You're a child. <laughs> be fucking for real. Like, bitch, you're, you're a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you're trying to be disrespectful. If somebody's sitting up here like, oh, I'm 16, I got my own apartment, I got my own job, I got my own car, that's good for you, baby. You're still a child. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, and it is some truth to this. I mentioned this kind of like briefly in uh, the previous video when Carla was talking about how people wanted us to react to Rachel Wavy and just her life and all her drama that she has going on. And what I was saying is um, the prefrontal cortex in the brain. This is this this part on in our brain is responsible for our social behavior, our reasoning, us being able to just make just smart decisions. Like even if that is damaged, it's like you are more likely to not make like proper decisions in the, in society. And I was saying that's not fully developed until we hit 25. So that's why I was like, 
I have no interest in watching a bunch of kids figure things out because they're gonna make those mistakes and yeah. those relationships, how they fight in it, doing all that shit. It's like they trying to figure out we all went through it. So that's what I was saying. So she's right. They are still kids. <laughs> Be fucking for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're your kid. This Balenciaga scandal, nigga, they literally had children. Like, bitch, these motherfuckers had to be, like, under the ages of fucking 12. And they had, like, these kids, like, around these toys. And the toys had, like, sex clothes on them. Like, you know, like, the BDSM shit? Like, the goddamn, I like it, like it, come on, come on, come on. Am I real? And it's like, well, first and foremost, the song. <laughs> Like it, like it, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but when I did see that, I was like, what the fuck is happening? And like she said, like when rich people, like we dibble and dabble and shit, I only can imagine those rich people when they go to them little freaky ass parties and shit. I think it's no limits to them, especially if it's some shit that people don't know that's happening. And just think about, I saw this one dude, he made a good point. So... Damn, G Gisling, Maxwell, and uh, the the dude who got uh, arrested. Oh, yeah. What's his name again? You I remember? Can't, the one who had the island. Yeah, the, okay, y'all know who I'm talking about. I'll put his name on here. The one who got arrested for um, not only messing with underage children, um, but Gilling Maxwell delivering these kids to all these, like, this long list of, like, upper echelon type of people who are also messing with these kids. So the dude was like, okay, so we locked Galeen Maxwell up and we locked the other dude who committed suicide. What about this long list of people? Do we just ignore it? Yeah. Like, I think Bill Clinton was on there. Um, 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 all type of motherfuckers was on there. What happens to them? Yeah, it's the same way like with the whole R. Kelly thing. Yeah, it's a long list. He ain't the only one. But it's like, that's, that's what be, mm, it'd be annoying me to think about that type of stuff. On the voice, you know what I'm saying? Like the fucking photo shoot was given very much. I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at it. Sex in the air, I don't care. I love the smell, nigga. The photo shoot was given very much S and M, like BDSM, like. Yeah. The photo shoot was given very much like a Pornhub category that I would watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, it was children around all. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. I don't care how you flip it. Flip it and reverse it, bitch. Word to Missy Elliott. I don't give a fuck how you try and spin it or how you try and portray it to me. Why do you have children? You could have just used the adults. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And mind y'all, it was adults in this photo shoot as well, which made it even more creepier. Why the fuck are you mixing literal children with adults with sex escapades? <laughs> they probably getting too comfortable, some of them, and they're not thinking straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mixing kids and adults with sex toys and sex clothes and oh. sex whips and fuck. You know what that just made me think about? That fucking show we watched. Wasn't it on Netflix with the guy who was um, doing the calls to the restaurants? Remember he was doing the calls to the restaurants and he was making it seem like he was a police officer and he was like, we have reason to believe that one of your employees stole a wallet from a customer. And so he would actually tell the manager, um, we can either come down there and oh, escort the employee oh, out yeah. or you can check them for us. And it basically, y'all, what was the name of that fucking show? Was it Don't? But y'all, so this guy, he was not a police officer, but he would tell the manager, okay, I need you to get them to take their clothes off. So the person, and it would be females. And so the female, because they thinking like, I ain't steal nothing. I don't want nobody coming down here to escort me. So yes, I will let my manager do don't this. Don't pick up the phone. Don't pick up the phone, y'all. Y'all, this show crazy as fuck. Either way, the, the strip search, y'all, these strip searches was going stupid. Like, so much to the point, it was this one woman, she's running her restaurant, she's like, look, I got to get back. So the guy's like, do you have somebody else that can come in, that can um, finish this strip search? She's like, yeah, my fiancé or boyfriend. Yeah, the fiancé or boyfriend gets there, and he's trying to help the police officer finish the strip search. 
So what did he get her to do? He got her to not only strip completely butt naked, he had her jumping up with her boobs going all over the place. He made her get on all fours and he spanked her. He, he was telling her, I need you to spank her on the because butt to make sure nothing won't fall out. And then, y'all, it got to a point where he even convinced them to where the girl gave him oral sex. Yeah, we were sitting up here like, how do these fucking adults not realize this shit is going too far? Now, you did have a few who was like, I'm not about to do that. Yeah. Or it was an employee that stepped in and was like, what are y'all doing? And, like, one guy, I think he said he took the phone and he was like, hello, like, if you a cop, you need to come down here. And then the dude hung up. Yeah, he was doing it in like some rural areas, like areas where it was like not that many people in the area. Yeah, I think he was even close to Hinesville um, when he was making his calls. I was like, damn, I think I was working at Burger King around that time. But I know I wouldn't have fell for that shit. Yeah, but we <laughs> sitting up here like how are these adults mind, like how you say it, how Taco just saying, like if it's adults here, what's not making y'all mind click and be like, hold up. When you watch that show. Yeah, that show you'll crazy see, as fuck. You'll see, and all adults are definitely not created the same. Some of them don't know how to think for themselves. <laughs> Some of them so horny, they can't even think straight. Because that's what I think with that one dude who let the girl give an oral sex. I don't even understand how he felt like this is part of the show. I think search. he was just so horny. He just... <laughs> and then when he realized this shit is out of hand... He didn't bolt it up out of there. Yep. And he, After he done got it yeah, wet. But why his girlfriend didn't even know this was going on? It yeah. was like she was so busy running the restaurant. I think it was either her fiance or her husband. But okay, yeah, let's Ugh. get back to it. Just check out the show on Netflix. Don't pick up the phone. Ugh. Hot ass mess. Fucking shit and fucking bras with the nipple poking out and fucking <laughs> easy access draws and, and, and <laughs> chains and, and gags and shit. What is that about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck how nobody else trying to, like, flip it or... I don't give a fuck. It's certain shit that you just don't have children around. Because, like, mm -hmm. bitch, what did that even yes. have to do with a child? Be fucking for real. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Taco, the photo shoot was because they had children clothes. They were trying to show the children's catalog. Mm -hmm. You, I don't give a fuck. You could have put them kids in a fucking park. You could have put them little motherfuckers on a seesaw. They could have been outside, like... Tag, you're it. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck is they with adults? And why, and why is these adults with these kids? And why are you mixing these... These two different fucking age groups, why are you mixing them in with, like, sex toys and shit? Yeah, so anyway, that basically was the Balenciaga scandal. On top of that, um, people were pointing out, like, how it was, like, books and shit and, like, newspapers and magazines. And it basically said, like, ball on it or ball or whoever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know demon names. I don't play with demons. I play with spirits. <laughs> the big difference you know what i'm saying so something like on like a book it said like b-a-a-l or some shit and apparently that is the name of like a powerful demon or like it's a name of like lucifer bitch bitch i don't know i don't know bitch i'm not into like i'm not into like evil shit like that i'm into african spirituality bitch is a big difference you know what i'm saying and if you think african spirituality is evil bitch you just anti-black you hate yourself you know what i'm saying so anyway <laughs> apparently on one of the books as well like it had like demon names and shit and like and it's just so funny to me because like this is the type of shit that like people like me be trying to stress they be putting this shit in front of y'all face and y'all still ignore it and i think that's so crazy because like they literally show y'all all the time like it's so much evil shit going on in the world and like i stress this all the time and i say this all the time coming from a bitch who can literally do magic i can tell y'all that everybody can do magic i don't give a fuck if you don't believe in it i don't give a fuck if you're a christian if you're a devout christian to lord jesus savior christ that's good for you you can still do magic you know what i'm saying and it's so crazy to me because y'all go to church and y'all have a pastor or y'all have a priest or whatever the fuck y'all have and they be standing up there reading from the holy bible and they be standing up there splashing holy water and they give y'all communion and they give y'all um what y'all be drinking cranberry juice and, and eating a piece of bread that's magic use your brain <laughs> let's 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 turn these on let's turn them on you know what i'm saying use your brain that's magic bitch and it's so crazy to me like when people like me come out and we be like oh yeah i do magic all the time and yeah i practice this and i do this with different type of like african deities and i talk to spirits and i can see this and y'all be like oh no bitch you just crazy you demonic and you schizophrenic but then y'all go to church and y'all listen to these people preach and pray and go the fuck off they're literally doing magic in front of you. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Um, coming from a bitch like me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Coming from a bitch like me, I can literally tell you that anybody can do magic. I don't give a fuck what your religion is. I don't give a fuck if you don't even practice a religion because I don't. 
You can do magic, though. People like me be trying to stress this shit to y'all all the time. People are evil. The world is evil. You do not know everything that goes on in the world. You do not know everything that all these people do. So it is very easy to hide and lie to somebody, especially somebody who's fucking stupid. It's easy. You don't even have to be stupid. It's easy to hide shit in plain sight, which is like a lot of times what they do, which is like when this Balenciaga shit blew up and it wasn't like making noise like I thought it would. It was blowing my mind because I'm like, y'all really don't give a fuck. Like y'all sit here and y'all go off all the time and oh, these gay people trying to push this agenda on our kids and oh, they trying to they trying to put transgender people in the same bathrooms as us and they trying to they trying to take kids to drag shows and this and that and that. Y'all be going off all the time about like gay people, but the whole time it really be like it be the straight people. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even trying to be shady, but, like, this entire Balenciaga shoot, this entire scandal, who y'all think did that? That wasn't no gay people doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch, we don't give a fuck about y'all kids. We hate kids. That's why we gay. Be fucking for it. <laughs> it's so funny to me because, like, shit be, like, right in y'all face. And the whole time y'all still be coming to gay people, like, oh, gay people doing this. Y'all trying to push an agenda and y'all trying to do this. And it whole time, it be, like, these rich-ass, like, celebrities that y'all look up to. It be, like, these Republicans. It be these fucking Democrats. It be, like, everybody the fuck else that you wouldn't think it is. It be them. But the media and the whole wide world got you thinking, oh, it's gay people who causing harm. No, bitch, it's literally, like, the people who you look up to and the people you worship. And you know what I'm saying? Because y'all, y'all worship celebrities so fucking bad, and I don't understand why. Them is regular people. And if you want the woke side of me to talk, they not even real people. Fuck you to me. But, like, the people who get it, get it. So, anyway, first thing first, this is no slander to, like, sexual people. Because y'all know I'm a very sexual woman. I am a very sexual being, and I let this be known in almost every video. I let this be known on my podcast just because, like, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm a sexual person, you know what I'm saying? I don't shame people for having sex because, like, I be having sex. And, like, it, it's, it's deep, but at the same time, it's not that deep. It's deep because, like, s having sex, like, being sexual, it's, it's like a healing property. You can heal people by having sex, you know what I'm saying? So it's deep in that sense, but it's also not that deep just because, like, bitch, we gonna die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the day gotta end. You know what I'm saying? Like, be fucking real, like... It's deep, but it's not that deep, you know what I'm saying? So it's deep in the sense of, like, always be weary and be careful of who you're exposing your spirit and your body to. But also at the same time, it's not that deep just because, like, bitch, it's your body. If you want to fucking fuck six niggas in one day, baby, be my guy. I don't give a fuck. It's not affecting me. It's literally not, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, when people be, like, slut-shaming and shit, it, it just don't make sense to me because it's not affecting you. I'm a very sexual woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like that's that's not it's never going to be anything that I'm ashamed of. I love having sex, you know what I'm saying? Sex is healing. And I'm a healer, you know what I'm saying? Word of Marvin Gaye, bitch, you know what I'm saying? It's some sexual healing going on fucking with me. So I'm very open to a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And I always say this in all my YouTube videos. The older I get and the more I get comfortable with myself as a woman and as a being, I start to open up to more different type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, there is some shit where I just won't ever partake in. So, like, okay, I can tell y'all that. So, like, like, yeah, you see my face? I'm already getting fucking disgusted. <laughs> yeah, so, because like, it's crazy. My mind, when she said the stuff she wouldn't participate, my mind just going all over the world. So, I'm just glad she about to tell us. Like, goddamn bodily fluid. Like, when people got, like, you know, it's like different type of kinks. Okay, cool. So, like, like, like. Like, <laughs> oh, like not, not too not too descriptive now. <laughs> you have me back oh, gag yeah. and throw up on this whole thing. It's like I can see everything in my head. It's like yeah. a damn four K, maybe eight K movie. <laughs> so please, not too descriptive on the bodily fluids. <laughs> hey, okay, like no, be for real. So like like boo boo and like pee. Oh, I yeah. ain't your girl. I ain't your girl. I, I don't like shit like that. You not finna shit on me. I will blow this goddamn house up. You know what I'm saying? I don't like shit like that. I don't like pee. You not finna pee on me neither, bitch. You was not Robert Kelly. Be fuck for real. Like, and that nigga the fuck up out of here. I'm gonna get your ass arrested next. Yeah, that's gross. And like, like age play. For anybody who don't know what age play is, it's like basically like your sex partner acts like a baby. I'm not in a shit like, why are you being fucking weird? Be fucking for real. Why are you being weird? I don't like shit like that. I don't like like bodily fluid. I don't know what you, I don't know what you call that kink. If you know what that kink is called, please comment. But like the kink, like where people like, like being peed on and boo-booed on, I'm not one of them and I never will be. I don't like age play because like I'm attracted to grown fucking women. I don't want no little ass girl, bitch. Be fucking for real. I already look like a little ass girl. Be fucking for real. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit weird. Okay. And then like, I'm trying to think about like something else that I'm like just not into. I think that that's that's probably about it. Um. Oh no, I'm cap. Like, 
I, obviously y'all know this. I'm just not into men. But I know a lot of lesbians who have threesomes with men. I'm not one of them. I'm not I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm not one of them. I find men attractive and like I look at niggas and I be like, oh he cute. That's about it. <laughs> Unless we talking about Chris Chris Brown. Three main things. Girl, but, he'll flip flop her all over the place. Man. <laughs> My guy, he be dancing to shit. Yeah. She probably better handle up Chris Brown. Lord. I'm your girl. You know what I'm saying? Just nothing off the wall, nothing crazy, nothing disgusting, nothing just odd. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm your girl. Okay, cool. So, I'm a very sexual woman. I'm very, I am a very open being. And like, there's honestly almost nothing that I would say no to other than what the fuck I just named. There's honestly like probably oh and like goddamn uh 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 what's the shit called? Goddamn uh G bestiality. Yeah fuck oh, oh, yeah. Do I look like a bitch that fuck a dog? A fuck a cat? A fuck a bird? Be fucking for real. Like bitch no. How the I, fuck I already... you fuck a bird? Look, I was gonna say, <laughs> what about furries? I want this <laughs> She don't want him acting like a baby, but what about furries? I wonder if she'll do furries. How the hell you fuck a bird? She <laughs> look like a lemur. Do I look like I need to be fucking another animal looking bitch? That's crazy. She said she look like a lemur. Like okay, cool. <laughs> I'm okay. Girl, bro. Like, it's honestly like, it's, it's nothing that I would like be like, ew, fuck no. Or like, there's nothing like that I would shame people for other than what the fuck I just like mentioned. Yeah. So, I am into some very just open and just, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, cool. First, I have to tell y'all this story time before I get to the story time, story time, because, like, I need y'all to understand, like, people do this on a daily basis. This is not something that's new, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that has been happening. So, Let's take it all the way back to, like, when I was just young and dumb and turned. I'm still young and dumb. I'm just not as turned. So, <laughs> so no, for real. So, like, let's take it all the way back to, like, when I was, like, young, dumb, and turned. So, it is so funny because, like, the girl who retwists my hair, she actually came and picked me up. Her name is April. April, my dog. Y'all know April. April be retwisting my hair and shit. Sometimes I tag her. Sometimes I don't. April is like such a, she's a very open soul as well. So let's take it all the way the fuck back. This is way before I even had my locks. This is way before I even cut my hair the first time. This is way before my first set of locks. Way the fuck back. So I remember y'all. It, it, it was like Halloween night. I remember because I remember these niggas had on costumes. So I remember I'm hitting April up. April like, yeah, what you want to get into tonight? Because like, I want to go out. And I was like, well, shit, man, come get me. You know what I'm saying? So April come, April come scoop me from my mom's house at this time. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, mind you, I always explain this to y'all. My mom's neighborhood is fucking huge. Like it's big. Like she got hella fucking neighbors and shit, right? As April is pulling into my mom's driveway, I'm getting in the car. We backing out. We notice like hella cars leading up the street to this one house, like at the end of my mama's street. And when I tell y'all, it's probably like 12 fucking cars. Like, it was so many cars, they even was parking in front of my mama house. You know what I'm saying? Hella cars. So we noticed, like, people getting out of cars and people turned up. They got bottles. Niggas got fucking drugs, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And all these people are in their costumes. So me and April, like, hanging out the window, like, oh, what y'all finna get into? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, one thing about black people, we nosy, bitch. Especially, like, did my mama, did my mama hood, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna see what you doing. So I'm hanging out the window. April hanging out the window. We talking to niggas. We like, oh, what y'all finna get into? What's this? What's this? And they was like, yeah, it's a costume. Like, like just random people was just talking to us. Like, as they're walking up the street and as we, like, slowly driving up the street, they talking to us. They was like, yeah, it's a costume party. You got to have a costume on. And I was like, man, hell, we can get a costume right now. Nigga, do you know what I hear? Somebody else was like, oh, yeah, but it's a swingers party. <laughs> Nigga, when I tell you me and April <laughs> looked at each other, and then we was like, oh, nah, we, we nah. don't do that. Nigga, we literally, like, drove off. Like, we put the pedal to the metal because the metal was max. We drove <laughs> off because, like, what are you talking about? Mind y'all, like I said, this was in my mom's neighborhood. My mom's neighborhood is predominantly fucking black. Mind you, nigga, like, my mom, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, like, middle class citizens. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these is, like, every everyday regular schmegula fucking people, like, People who like work at the fucking DMV or people who work at fucking the, call the centers and people office. who work at grocery stores and people who are teachers and bus drivers and regular schmegular everyday people. And nigga, you just told me out your mouth that this is a swingers party on my mama's street. 
nigga you get what i'm trying to stress you y'all get what i'm trying to stress if regular people like yep. us partake in some shit like that imagine what the people who got like power and money imagine what they be fucking doing. a lot of times you know saying because like i always say this mm-hmm. on my podcast when you got power and money you can hide anything niggas will never question you just because you're rich and you have power they won't question you anybody who don't fucking know a swinger is basically like a couple who like go and they partake in activities with other couples can't speak for all swinger couples because somebody watching this they, they probably a swinger couple but more than likely sometimes nine times out of ten the swingers like the couples they be bisexual so like if it's a man and a woman they'll go and meet up with like another man and a woman couple and the man might get with the man the woman might get with the woman and then they'll swap out but they're a couple you know what i'm saying so bob and pam bob and pam they boyfriend and girlfriend and they gonna meet up with fucking sean and don their boyfriend and girlfriend sean and don and bob and pam and nigga <laughs> bob the build and bob marley and goddamn sean mendez and pamela anderson you know what i'm saying them niggas just got them yeah and then sometimes like it can also be a lesbian couple and then sometimes it can be like a fucking gay couple basically like being a swinger is basically like you a couple and you swap out with other couples and y'all fuck each other my thing with that is if you are doing this in a predominantly black middle class neighborhood and you just do you just doing this on like a random halloween night like this this is just like mind y'all like oh my god <laughs> I'm really sitting here like I'm, I'm like Halloween. Like I'm taking it back no. because like the bell niggas, niggas do shit like this on a on a regular everyday basis. So like I'm really trying to stress this to y'all. Like imagine what the people with power and money be doing, and it's like all boil back to the Balenciaga scandal because it's like when I be trying to stress to people like celebrities are evil and like people with like a lot of power and money and fame they're fucking nasty and they're evil. And I always say this on my podcast. Imagine me, we're going to use me for an example. Imagine me being into some freak weirdo shit. Imagine me being into like, I like to watch people get their fucking adrenaline going. So I like to like choke bitches out just until like they about to pass mm-hmm. out. It sounds crazy, but listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sounds crazy, but listen. Imagine me being into some freak, just crazy shit. Like I like the throttle of watching people almost about to fucking die and take their last breath. Just because I get big and famous and I blow up and I'm well known across the country that kink of mine it's that's not going there. to leave just because i'm mm-hmm. big and famous now if anything it's getting worse it's going to become more fucking vigorous because now i have the money and the power and the fame and the freedom to partake in it more and and what's better about it now is that i can hide it mm-hmm. now just imagine you know what i'm saying like so with it's that just go again going back to that list of people who, like, yeah, we got Galeen Maxwell that's locked up and the other dude who got locked up, but that long list who probably will never have to face consequences for that shit. Yeah, and she also making me think about when, um, was it, I, I want to say it was, was it Bow Wow? Or, um, I think it was Bow Wow. I, when he, it's like he was still young. I want to say, like, oh, yeah. 19, 20. I want to say he was, I just know he was young. And he basically was saying that, I guess since he had been in the industry, he had witnessed like everything. He was like nothing excites him anymore. Yep, he said. Can you so imagine much. if it's kind of like nothing excites you? Like she said, like a regular ass person, it, like something can happen and we'll be like, what? You know? Mm-hmm. But can you imagine like being like a celebrity or being in their world? And them saying, like, regular shit don't excite them. Yeah, so then it makes whatever that little kink is even more appealing to you because the other shit don't excite you. Uh Uh-huh, then they start getting into some other shit. Yep. Especially depending on who they hanging around with. And I think it could be, for some of them, the more dangerous or the more risky it is, the more they want it also. Mm Mm-hmm said that's why i'm trying to stress this balenciaga scandal and when i be telling people like man these celebrities be demonic they be eating people and they be you know what i'm saying like they be chasing people for sport and they be and then it's like don't even get me started on like what goes on in the dark web or the deep web because you know they say the internet like when you go to google and you search stuff it's almost like the the tip of the iceberg even though the internet seems massive to us it's like the just the tip of the iceberg but but if but below it, below that water, it's even darker and deeper. Yeah. And it's so much more that goes on. And it be all type of shit, like watching people die live and just all type of just. Yeah, like some shit that make us regular ass folks be like, what the fuck? 
You know, like even when we watch that show. I think if we seen some of the stuff that goes on on the deep web, it may oh. drive some of us crazy. Yes. Because yes. I've seen some stuff that has accidentally surfaced to the top. That I've seen the machine. This is like back in the day when they didn't have complete, well, I ain't gonna say complete control, but a lot, a good control over Facebook and what shows up. We still will see mass shootings. It's some mass shootings I've seen on video that fucks me up in the head to this day. But certain things I've seen when I was younger on Facebook that I should have never seen, to this day, I still remember it. It's engraved in your yeah, head. Yeah. Yeah. So I can only imagine what's on the dark, on the deep web. Be putting people on remote islands and chasing them and killing them and they be taking homeless people and taking them off the grid and doing crazy rituals and saying this and other- And then y'all ever see like when you go to Walmart, that big uh board of all those missing uh people, mainly mm -hmm. it well, in my area it mainly be looking like a lot of um people of color, um, whether they are Hispanic, Spanish, whatever, or uh black people. And when you see the age group it don't be no little ass kids. It be like, you know, teenagers. I be like, damn, what are they doing with all these people? The people be saying this and they be like, nah, y'all just crazy. Nigga, if regular people in my mama middle class, predominantly black neighborhood do it, imagine what these famous white people, you know what I'm saying? And not even just the white people I know, but like imagine what like these famous people doing all around. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So that was the story time leading up to the main story time because I'm gonna tell y'all like, I damn near almost like encountered one of these fucking sex parties. This, this was not recent, but this was not long ago neither. But like, y'all know one thing about me, I don't do very well with friends. When I do try and have friends, it always just falls fucking through. I don't know what it is. I really don't give a fuck to know what it is because I just don't care. Because like at this age, at this point now, I, I want to be left the fuck alone. And I say this all the time. Uh, so I had this one associate, we're gonna call her associate. I had this one associate and hold on, hold on, because I gotta give like a disclaimer before I just start running my mouth. So I'm going to start doing this thing now where like, I'm going to be like, if you believe this story time, that's on you. <laughs> I'm going to start doing this thing now because like, when I tell y'all, when I was off, like when I was on my hiatus, I had like 16 women coming to me like, this story time about me. And like, it was so crazy because like 12 of them women, I don't even literally, I literally don't even know who the fuck. I put this on everything I love, nigga. I had like 16 bitches come and message me, like cursing me the fuck out. Like, <laughs> this story talking about me, this, you think you fucking funny, bitch? This story talking about me? And when I tell y'all, like, literally, like, goddamn 12 of them bitches, I did not know them bitches. I lit, like, I told this shit on my podcast. It was one lady who hit me up and she sent me, if y'all remember the Catwoman story time, a fucking lady hit me up and sent me the link and was like, you trying to be funny, bitch? Like, this story time was about me. When I literally, I shit y'all not, I put this on everything I love. I put this on my ancestors. This bitch literally lived in, like, Washington, D.C. Bitch, I don't even fucking know you. I've never seen you in my goddamn life. And I was on my podcast, like, y'all, this, this this random lady just fucking reached out to me and was like, oh, this story time about me. When I fucking, when I literally went through her page and I messaged her back, and I was like, I have never seen you in my fucking life. The bitch blocked me. What the fuck was that about? With all that being said... I, this my new thing. What what Lil Durk said on his deluxe album? This deluxe is all cap. None of this is real. That's gonna be me because I'm not playing with y'all bitches no more. Because what the fuck be wrong with y'all? And then my thing is like, why would you pick the most obscure, just craziest fucking story time to send to me and be like, yeah, this is about me? I literally don't know you. But my thing is, if if you gonna lie, at least pick a good story time. Why would you pick one of the worst fucking story times? Like, I mean, this gonna be kind of off a little bit, but that, you think that's kind of smart. How little dirt, cause you know they starting to rap. I mean, lock rappers up more oh, than ever. Yeah, you know for the things they say <laughs> in their album. So if it's like, look, this is a disclaimer. This shit is all cap. None of this shit is true. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Then can with that disclaimer, does that protect them from being locked up if they try to use some of the well, shit you say they against say them? They say they using it. Then yes, it should protect. It them. should, I mm -hmm. think. Like. Bitch, you got 30 cats? Why would you want, like, even if that was about you, why would you, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? So anyway, just in case this girl ever come back and find my channel again and she ever watch my fucking channel, bitch, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> and and on top of that, if you believe the story time, bitch, that's on you. Fuck you, tell me, I'm not doing this shit with y'all bitches no more. Y'all remember that troll? I need that troll to come back and comment again. You be on here making up story times. I sure do. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. I sure do, nigga. You can't gaslight the gaslighter. Fuck you talking about. Uh, what was that post? You can't gaslight me. I'll just agree. I'm insane. No, literally. That's me. Literally. <laughs> Real like, I'm a narcissist. You can't gaslight me. I'm a narcissist.
So anyway, <laughs> I'm just playing, but I'm not. Fuck you talking about. Let me just give a little fucking disclaimer real quick. If you believe the story time, bitch, that's on you. Fuck are you talking about? Because I'm not going to keep doing this shit. Bitches coming out the woodwork. Fuck you talking about. Bitch coming out the woodwork. This story time was about me. Bitch, I don't even fucking know you or your mama, ho. You gotta get a fuck about my shit. A while ago, I had this one associate. She was a masculine presented woman. She's like a stud. Okay, cool. So basically, me and her hit it off on Instagram. And I even like hit it off like we was gonna talk. But like, even if we was about to, like, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, y'all know, I love all women. I don't really give a fuck about the label. I'm a grown woman. I don't give a fuck about your label, bitch. Be fucking for real. Because when them clothes come off and when my clothes come off, we got the same parts, baby. So what you trying to do? She was cool, cool little vibe. I could tell on Instagram she was a cool little vibe. She hit me up and she was like, yo, Taco, like, I fuck with your shit. I love your channel, woody woot. And, like, I stay in Atlanta and, like, I'm not even on no weirdo shit. But, like, if you ever want to do something, just, like, let me know. I'm down, woody woot. I said, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... I don't know, I'll probably come off, like, as a bitch to y'all because I am. Fuck you, tell me. But, like, at the same time, like, I do use my discernment with a lot of situations. And on top of that, I realize, like, bitch, you can't go through our life just thinking everybody gonna do you wrong. And you also can't go out through life trying to avoid every fucking thing. So I also remember this, this other comment, and this girl was like, well, if you know all this shit, why you be putting yourself in these situations? Because you can't avoid everything, bitch. That's life. Fuck you, tell me. And a lot of the times, you go through a lot of this shit for character development. Be fucking mm -hmm. for real. So, um. Uh, so I use my discernment, like I said. And, like, I feel people out. And, of course, like, I check people out. And I just be, like, all on that shit. Of course, social media will not tell you everything, of course. But that's also why you go out scrapped up. I'm not playing with one of y'all bitches. I'm going to put a fucking hole in one of y'all bitches. Your mama going to have to have a fish fry to bury your ass. I'm not playing with you <coughs> bitches. So, Damn. she hit me up. She like, y'all want to hang out. And whenever you down, just let me know. I'm not on no weirdo shit. I said, okay, cool. For shit show. You know what I'm saying? We can link. We can do something. We probably hung out, like, twice. But, like, when we hung out, it was, like, simple shit. Like, one time we hung out, we went to, like, this gay hookah lounge. Okay, cool. And another time we hung out, we just ended up, like, meeting at, like, Stonecrest Mall. On some real cool laid that shit. Like, legit, like, she just wanted a fucking friend. And she just told me, like, bitch, I think you cool, so I want to be your friend. I said, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? And mind y'all, like, nothing crazy happened with this girl. Like, we didn't fall out. Like, she wasn't a bitch. She wasn't a weirdo. She didn't stink. Fuck you talking about? Like, literally, we just... <laughs> I just I, I just got this thing where I just go ghost on people. <laughs> it's the Sagittarius in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I just got this thing where it's just like, I be needing to recharge, nigga. So I just be leaving people alone. Okay, cool. So those two links was cool, right? So our third link, right? So I told this story on my podcast, but I just had to bring it to YouTube because it's so crazy. So our third link, right? This motherfucker hit me up. It's like already starting to get dark, right? It's like damn near nighttime. She texts me. She like, hey, I want to like, I want to take you to something. And I want to take you because I know you're a very open person and, like, you don't be judging people. Like, you don't be on, like, on no, like, no lame shit. So, shout think of the bitch want to tell me, like, she want to take me to, like, goddamn Starship. Y'all know the sex toy place? Like, I'm thinking, like, what you trying to do, Mr. Lady? Like, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> m m Mr. Ma'am? Fuck you talking about? Mrs. Nigga? Like, what are you trying to do, bitch? Because I'll pull these panties off fast. Like, you're not talking about nothing. Be fucking for real. So, like, they want to tell me, like, she trying you know what I'm saying? Because, like, one thing about me, we can do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you talking in code and shit? Like, we got them Agent Cody Banks. Like, I'm like, what's up? And she was like, yeah, so, like, I'm going to send you the flyer type shit. But, like, just let me know what you think. But, like, don't, like, don't. Like, just don't. I don't know. Like, I just don't want you to react crazy. I don't want you to, like, go off and call me, like, a weirdo or nothing or, like, nothing crazy. I was like, nah, bro, just send a flyer. So, the bitch sent the flyer. Nigga, the flyer got goddamn, like, handcuffs on it and bitches all dressed down in black and, like, silk satin and, like, fishnets and shit. And bitches got on, like, mask and, like, masquerade and feathers and getting very much the Great Gatsby and goddamn, I don't know. Like, it was, like, Great Gatsby mixed with, like, medieval times, mixed with, like, goddamn, goddamn 2002 era. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, like, a lot going on on the flyer. So I'm looking at the flyer and I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like okay so then she sent the flyer then she sent like this big paragraph of like information you know what i'm saying like you know like she sent it like separately so she sent the big paragraph of fucking information nigga i said this shit on my station here on my podcast the paragraph was like um we suggest if you do come you need a back end that was like that was like my first red flag because like Every colored person, I don't give a fuck what color you are. Every colored person, every Negro, fuck you talking about Negro. Every <laughs> every black person, no. When we backing in, we backing in because it's for quick escape. Yes. I don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck what you was taught. 
I don't give a fuck if somebody tell you like, oh, I back in just because I like to back in. They backing in just in case they need to get the fuck on. And we all know this as black colored people. We all know this. If you need me to back in somewhere, you're basically telling my inner fucking spider senses that some shit could pop off. So we need y'all to be able to get the fuck on at any given time. That was my first red flag. So when I read that, I was like, damn, what the fuck going on? So then I started reading more and more. If you want to bring your own protection, you can, but protection will be provided. So I'm like, protection? Hey, bitch, bitch, get goddamn, goddamn PPEs and shit, personal protection equipment. I'm like, the fuck is this bitch COVID? Like, look, what's going on, nigga? And like, y'all, like, it was like rules and regulations. It was like, this was like the one that really got me. That shit was like... If you bring any electronics, all electronic devices will be c- collected at the door, placed in a in a plastic baggie, and along with your car keys, and we will label them. And towards the end of the night, we will pass them back out. Or whenever you are ready to leave, we will pass them back out. But once you leave out, you cannot come back in. I'm reading all this shit, <coughs> and <laughs> I'm getting itchy. Eczema flaring, I'm getting worried. I'm reading all this shit. So I text her back. I was like, what is this? And she was like, I, I just don't want you to, like, judge me, bro. Like, I, I really fuck with you. Bitch. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm Bitch, I'm gonna, what is this? I'm not going to ask again. You know what I'm saying? Like, like be fuck for real, bro. So I'm like, what is this? And she was like, it's like a goddamn, it's like a, it's like a sex party. And I was like, I get sex party vibes. Like, look, <laughs> look, y'all, look at me. Look at me. Look, for real, comment. I wish y'all could see. Hold on, y'all finna see my butt. Look, y'all can't really see it, but like, look at my hip. I get sex party vibes. Be fuck for real. Be fuck. Be fuck for real. You know what I'm saying? Be fuck for real. I love- <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I, I low key, I low key got. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I low key got excited because like. Bitch, me, my little ass, bitch, my goddamn twelve year old boy, giving ass, you know what I'm saying? I give sex party vibes. I said this bitch think I'm grown and nasty, cause I am. But like, damn, you think I'm grown and nasty to the point where I give sex party vibes? That's crazy, cause I do. I will fuck the shit out of any bitch. I don't, I don't want you to be weird. I don't want you. I don't want you to feel like I'm being funny with you. But like, I don't know. I just felt like like you was somebody I could take to this. So I'm reading, reading, and reading. When I tell y'all, like. The rules and regulations just kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier. So I asked her straight up. I was like, have you ever went to one of these? She's like, yeah, I done been to a couple. And she was like, but like when I go, I be going alone. And I was like, okay, so like, you know what I'm saying? So like me being me, I started asking questions. Because I already made up in my mind, I wasn't going. <laughs> 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 If I gave Candyland vibes, I'm not going. <laughs> Let me explain to y'all why I wasn't going. First and foremost, you telling my black ass I need a back end. First and foremost, I drive a truck. I'm tiny. I'm 5'1". I can't see over the steering wheel. Let's be fucking for real. You need me to back in? That's crazy. I will tear the whole goddamn parking lot up trying to back in. I'm going to fuck around and back in on top of somebody else's car. Be fucking for real. Can't drive. So that was my first reasoning for not going. Fuck are you talking, fuck are you talking about? You talking about you going to take my phone? You going to take my electronic devices? Bitch, this is not sixth grade. You is not Mrs. Mrs. Apple. Fuck you to me. You is not Mrs. Honey from Matilda, bitch. You not my teacher, hoe. And you especially not my mama. You not taking my phone. <laughs> I'm a grown bitch. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I'm a grown woman standing up here giving goddamn 13-year-old boy from Compton. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> you not taking my phone, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Third of all, you're especially not taking my car keys. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And fourth oh, of yeah. all, that shit was like, I think like, y'all, I think like the last like... It wasn't even like a rule and regulation, but it was just basically saying like party favors will be served. I don't know about y'all, but I listened to Tinashe. Have y'all ever heard that song by Tinashe? It's called Party Favors. The song is literally about sex and drugs. Party favors will be served. Mm. And we all know what type of drugs they talking about. You're not in there just smoking a little, you know what I'm saying, a little, little. You know what I'm saying? You're not even in there just doing that. You're not just smoking a little bit of weed, bitch. You in here popping pills, snorting coke, snorting zippers, snorting lines. I can't even come up with any other goddamn. I just know you in here snorting. You think? Let me let me not nah, let no me put way. all this Hell. together so y'all can understand why I wasn't going. You want me to back in just in case because like obviously it's to the point where something could potentially pop off or you need people to be able to pull off that quick. That was my first, like, little, like, that shit had my spidey senses tingling. Like, my nigga senses was tingling. You want people to back in? Why? Has something ever happened to the point where, like, niggas had to escape quickly? And if it did, why? What the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? Second of all, you talking about you gonna take my phone and my car keys? And...
Yeah, but I'm thinking like if some shit did pop off, how are you gonna be able to leave if they got your fucking key? Why? They'd be like, hold up here. here. That sound like What's a your fucking, name? What's your name? I know a disaster waiting right. to happen. Yeah. Motherfuckers been snatch somebody else's keys trying to get the fuck up out of there. That sound crazy as hell. Third of all, you serving party favors. Now imagine me not being a little smart, goddamn intuitive bitch that I am. Imagine me just going into this blindly, getting in there, getting my brains fucked out. And then on top of me having hella sex with hella different women, I'm in there also <sighs> and goddamn popping shit and doing all this other shit. Now just imagine something go wrong with my fucking body. My body react crazy as hell. And next thing you know, I'm fucking overdosing. Y'all know exactly what they gonna do. They gonna throw my little ass right outside, mm -hmm. right near my truck. They gonna put my keys and my phone right next to me and everybody gonna be fucking dispersed, bitch. Mm -hmm. And I said this shit on my podcast. I said, y'all not finna throw me outside, have me outside laying, laying overdosing next to my big ass truck and I got on a thong. No! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I was like, if I go, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wear a thong. <laughs> I'm not gonna put that shit on. I'm gonna wear a thong at my fucking. Like, for real, like, I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like, 2% of me, I was like, shit, I got a little goddamn. I got a little Victoria's Secret motherfucker. I put that on. I'm gonna put that motherfucker on. Put a little silk robe on top of that motherfucker. Go in there giving them bitches goddamn Wesley Snipes when he was in goddamn Blade. Blade. You know what I'm saying? Go in there with thong on. Thong, match the master robe. You know what I'm saying? Hit them bitches with the goddamn. Uh, put on the duck boots. The fuck you talking about? Y'all was not finna throw me outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mad because y'all know that's how shit go down. Y'all know that's how people are. People don't have no remorse for nobody else. Y'all mm -hmm. know people don't. Now, just imagine in a situation, in a scenario where everybody freaking the fuck out, everybody horny, everybody high as hell, everybody drunk as fuck, and niggas just start getting the fuck on. You're not going to leave me thrown the fuck outside. My deal don't still attach to my fucking strap. <laughs> my, you know what I'm saying? I still got a strap on. <laughs> I'm outside, tossed, tossed on top of my truck, keys, keys tucked into my thong on the side. I said, nah. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I'm not going to hold you, nah. I asked her straight up. I was like, I was like, you ever been to one of these? And she was like, yeah, I'd been, to, I'd been to a couple. And she was like, the reason I asked you is because, like, like you such a free spirit and you don't be judging people and woo dee woo and, 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 and she's right. Like, I agree, but, baby, at the same time, it, it's just certain shit. And then, like, I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to say I would never, ever partake in one of these because we don't know where the future takes taco. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Taco is a free code. <laughs> Let, let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hey, man, hit dog on holla crazy, and my name is Bingo. Let's be for real. Like, a little freak hoe. I'm a little freak zesty bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told y'all in the beginning of this, I'm into some real crazy shit. So I'm not going to sit here and, like, like, goddamn act like I would never go because I fuck around. Let them say it's like an all girls one. I'm up in that thing like they're right here. Mm, 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 mm. A long dick of like, mm, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I told her this shit straight up. I was like, I'm not gonna hold you because we are still so freshly new into hanging out. I don't feel comfortable to go to something like this with you. Not even to sound rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm literally telling her yeah. this. I was like, not even to sound rude. Like, like I don't trust you. But it's just, I feel like this is something that's very intimate. And I feel like this is something that I would do with, like, a partner. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to explain this to her so, like, she don't think, like, I'm trying to be fucking funny. And, like, basically call her, like, a freaky fuck. I was, though. You're a freaky fuck. You're a freaky. If you watch this fucking video, you're a freaky fuck. That's okay, because me too. <laughs> Look, pervert voice activated. Fuck you talking about. Are you an introvert or are you a, are you an extrovert? I'm a pervert. <laughs> Let, let's call a spade a spade. Not for real, but like, I feel like this is just something very intimate that like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, for me to like still be getting to know you, this is not something that I would want to share with you only because like, this is my first time. Uh -huh. And I know it would make more sense to go with somebody who has been to these sort of things. But I was like, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I, I don't know you like that. And like, this is very intimate. And that's like, that's not something I would want to share with you type shit and she was like nah bro like i understand woody woo and yeah y'all like we ended up just doing something else like we ended up doing something else. i think we went like to the fucking where we went i think we went to like atlantic station or some shit and we went to goddamn bo bowl you know what i'm talking about <laughs> bowl i don't know we went to like atlantic station we went bowling and i remember we stopped and we like we got some cookies and shit like she was my dog like for the for the little time being she was my dog you know what i'm saying like she was cool as fuck and she literally like she like what i told her she like took it and she was like yeah i understand and she was like but like whenever you whenever you think you ready or if you ever like have somebody that you want to take with you like let me know and then we can all go together 
What you trying to have a threesome? Yes, it is. That's how I let me know we can all go together. You trying, that bitch trying to bunk coochies in a, in a triangle. <laughs> Be fucking for real. But like, so crazy to me because like, damn, I give sex party. <laughs> not for real, but not for real. Like, it was crazy to me because like, really, I, I just wanted to share this, share this story time because like, I'm trying to stress to people like, you don't know what the fuck people are into. You don't know what the fuck people dabble in. You don't know what the fuck type of power and money and fame that these people have to the point where they can hide shit. And it's so crazy because like, like I said, like if everyday regular people within our community do shit like this, can you only imagine what like the fucking people with the power and the money and the fame, what they be doing? And mind y'all, she was like a fucking assistant manager at like Dick Sporting Goods. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyday regular people that you see out like somebody who could be making your subway sandwich or somebody who like <laughs> as soon as you walk into like the doctor's office they the people sitting there at the desk mm -hmm. typing up all your information taking your insurance information or a fucking librarian or a fucking school bus driver or like a, a fucking a, a crossing guard you know what I'm saying? let like me find out lady libra out there going to some parties uh -huh. <laughs> shout out to lady libra <laughs> <right here. laughs> like everyday cops bitch firemen bitch veterinarians everyday regular people so it's so crazy to me like how people just like look at a lot of this shit that's going on in the world and they just turn like a blind eye to it and they be like oh no that's not true oh no that's not real nobody would do that how how do you know you don't know every fucking body and you don't know what the fuck everybody into you know what i'm saying so like i just want to get on here real quick and just stress this story time because like i'm in my i'm in my woke girl era Bitch, you been in it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm in my woke girl era and, like, all that Balenciaga shit was just crazy to me. And I did want to get on here and give y'all another story time real quick. And that story time was just, like, in the back of my brain because, like, I was just laying here, like, it's so crazy. Like, that Balenciaga shit really just, like, it came and went. Like, I don't see niggas making an uproar about it. I don't see niggas losing their mind about it. I don't see niggas up in arms trying to goddamn kill people about it. But as soon as somebody come and be, like, I'm a transgender person and I just want to be able to use whatever bathroom I want to use just because I want to relieve myself. I'm not trying to go in there and be a creep. I really just need to fucking pee. And I don't have time to go in. They be like, y'all trying to change the world. Have y'all been watching, all, um, she just made me think about on uh, Jubilee. Have y'all been watching those trans men versus conservative men or trans women versus conservative women have y'all been watching those mm -hmm. it's just been really interesting to hear what both sides have to say yeah just check it out on youtube in a women's bathroom and get yelled at and i don't have time to go in a men's bathroom and get yelled at i really just want to be able to use the bathroom boy they say some shit like that and niggas outside with they pitchforks and they bibles and you know what i'm saying but balenciaga done legit showed y'all that they partake in pedophilia and niggas ain't and niggas ain't saying nothing. Ain't no type of noise being made. It's so crazy to me. So yeah, y'all. That was it for the story time you're saying. Um, I don't know. I just I just I don't know. It's so crazy. Like, I get a sex party, bitch. Look, <laughs> I gotta do my Britney skin. Y'all know Britney. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Oh no, do don't Britney do it. I'm Britney Spears be like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta show y'all. She be like <laughs> She ain't no okay, guy, crazy. I give sex party, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And my Britney <laughs> Spears era. Stop playing with story. me. So my moral of the story. Um, the first moral of the story is whatever you are into, be into it. Um, I am not anybody to like shame anybody. So do what you will with that information. But like me personally, it's it's just shit that I know that I wouldn't do personally. That's me personally. You know what I'm saying? I am my own person, just like you are your own person. Me personally, I just know it's some shit that I would just never be into. But if you are into that, then that is on you, babe. That's between you and the J man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's your Jesus. No, for real. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not here to shame anybody. If you like certain shit, that's on you. I can't relate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. First moral of the story, whatever you are into, just be into it. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, second moral of the story, uh... If you are a sexual person, whether you are a man or a woman or a they, them, whatever the fuck, if you are sexual, that's okay. Don't let nobody sit here and tell you like, oh, you a hoe or you gonna get STDs or you gonna go, you gonna go to hell or your vagina gonna stretch out or, you know what I'm saying? Just, I just honestly feel like when it gets to shit like that, I just be telling people, I don't give a fuck. Like, now what? You know what I'm saying? Like, like when people just be going back and forth so much about shit that don't pertain to them, I just be like, I don't give a fuck. So now what? Like, I don't care about what the fuck you saying. If you are a sexual person, be a sexual person. It is nothing wrong with you being sexual, baby. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? As long as you being safe and you being smart about it, 
you good, nigga. You good with the J man. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Um, and um, another moral of the story is uh, uh, pay attention to the people around you because a lot of the times people be telling on themselves. So like a lot of times I saw this post and I actually reposted it and it was like a lot of times the shit that people judge and the people the shit the shit that people judge and the shit that people like go so hard on and be like I don't like mm -hmm. that I don't like that half the time they be partaking in that shit you know what I'm saying so like yeah, for the people mm -hmm. who like always like slut shaming or like they always telling people like bashing people about their sexuality or they bashing people for being sexual half the time they be like some of the horniest fucking devils nigga like be fucking for real you know what I'm saying so um yeah if anybody is ever like just goddamn riding your tail or people are just being rude to you baby half the time a lot of time not even half the time a lot of time a lot of that shit is coming from what's inside of them you know what i'm saying um and that's like that's like my last moral of the story don't ever take what people are saying to you don't take it personal you know what i'm saying because a lot of times people are being rude and nasty and mean and spiteful because they're upset with themselves and they're not happy with themselves so obviously when you have something that's brewing in you for so long when you have so much hatred within you for so long of course that bullshit is going to spew out of them which is why a lot of these fucking terrible people stink and a lot of them have nasty fucking mouths and nasty fucking teeth and their health is disgusting because you harboring <laughs> for real for real i'm telling y'all some real shit i noticed this like being like spiritual and shit i noticed this you harboring all that nasty ass demonic ass energy within you and that's why like it's so funny to me and i say this and i was stand on this people with like evil intentions they stink literally like i'm not saying this to be funny i'm saying this because i mean it's literally when people have bad intentions towards you or just in general they give off a smell and it's stinky i can't really explain what the smell i can it smells like shit <laughs> like be fucking for real like i'm so dead ass another thing too that uh me and carla we notice is that a lot of really like mean people um after a while, as they get older, it's almost like it manifests on the outside. Oh, like they get yeah. these physical features. Okay, so you know the stereotypical look of what a witch looks like? I mean, um, I'm talking about those exaggerated features where the nose is drawn out, the the uh, chin sticks out, the, the, the way that a typical witch, you would think a witch look. Um, when Carla and I was in Portugal, it was this woman, and like when Carl, she looked like that. Like she looked like a straight up witch, witch. Um, like from a from a cartoon show or something that yes. we've seen. Uh, was it The Wizard of Oz type shit? She made and, me jump. Yeah, when Carla made her. a noise, I had already kind of spotted her, and I was like, I, when I spotted, her, I was like, whoa! I was like, dang, she looked just like a witch. And then Carla, when she finally spotted, her, she made a little noise. She was like, oh. she caught me. <laughs> Oh, God. And the lady was me. You know how they say it's racist people over there? Me and Carla, we wouldn't really, like, if you was on some bullshit, you wasn't around us for too long because we just ain't yeah. on that type of shit. But, um, but she did, like, do some, like, fucked up or whatever. She did do some love. She was just, she was angry because basically what happened, me and Nick, we was in this pastry shop and she had already been standing there. And she just got mad that they waited on Nick first. And she had been standing there. She was short. You know, sometimes short people, they get overlooked. But it was just, you know, like her look. And I remember I told Nick, I heard um, somebody else say that. When you see people where their features look like that, it's basically like just things in life have just, it's how they react. Yeah. to the things in life. And this is lady, she used to babysit me, um, not often, but when she did, she was just real, like, stern. And she reminded me of the lady, like, y'all know that uh, movie Matilda? Not this little musical shit that's out, but the old school Matilda. Like, how mean that lady looked, the, uh, the, the little teacher or whatever. She, the lady who babysat me, she was kind of like that, and she was just always just so, like, her face was just so... Like like a frown yeah, all the yeah. time, and she, you know, as she got older, it's just it's on her. Like it's just on her face. She just looked mean all the time. She was a little mean little lady. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So just pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to like the shit that people try and like get you into. Um, if you are into it, then have fun. But just be aware of your surroundings. Don't trust people too fucking hard because you never know. And yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, man. Shy, shy said.
Shawty said, I'm goddamn. Shawty said, I'm giving goddamn. sex party. Bitch, I'm, get, I'm giving sex party, bitch. <laughs> you chewing, ho? Yeah. I'm finna hit that bitch up. Till that bitch, I'm locked and loaded. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> when, when the next one? Fuck your tummy. <laughs> I give a fuck what you heard. You say to you, That's what's up. Um. That was a cool little story time. I'm glad we got to talk about a lot of the little topics we got to talk about. I'm actually glad Taco was back, especially after reacting to breakups, shit, Lily Stalker situation, yes. um, and just all the other shit. It's just nice to be able to have some type of balance. laugh or, yeah. yeah. It's like a balance. Um, well, first, I want to say yes. I'm glad Taco is back. Yeah. I'm glad everything worked out with her channel. Yeah. You know, I understand her getting discouraged. Um, thanks for the birthday shout out and happy birthday to you. One Sage to the next. <laughs> And um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, we forgot to mention the like it. If you made it this far in the video, like the video and comment below the mushroom emoji if you have liked it and you made it this far. I guess uh, the goal for this video, if we can get to a thousand likes, that would be great, especially yes. since we didn't say it in the middle of the video. Uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.